Hey guys, so in this video we're going to start off by rigging our front facing character. You should also have a side character and we will tackle that in another video just so we can keep these short and you'll be able to jump in and out of the videos to where you need to go. So looking at what you have, you're going to need to determine what you need to do because you might have something different in my video. So I'm going to show you both routes on maybe what has occurred for you. So for my little front facing guy right here, I have layers up here in my layers palette for every piece of my body. So I just want to share those real quick with you. This is just like the bare minimum. If your character has any other fancy pieces or weird body parts, you might have more than what's on here, but this again is kind of the bare minimum. So working our way up, I guess, we have our body slash torso our hips, my right upper arm, right lower arm, and right hand. In the exact same shape, just flip the other way, is my left upper arm, left lower arm, and left hand. And going the same route again, my legs, the right upper leg, right lower leg, right foot, and left upper leg, lower leg, and foot. Now, all of my pieces here are symbols. So if you haven't symboled these individual pieces, you need to go ahead and do that. And of course, just name them for whatever body part it is that you're working with. If you need to do that, go ahead and pause the video and get that tackled real quick. If your stuff is already symbols, like mine, you might have everything out here in your main stage. If your stuff is already packaged in a front view symbol, then just kind of maybe fast forward through this and figure out where you need to jump in at. For those of you that have your screen potentially set up like mine, we have a problem and we need to move some stuff around. We want all of our body parts to be packaged up into one doll. So if that's the case for you, make a front view layer and I already have mine right here and in that front view layer I just went ahead and wrote the words front so I knew what I was working with I just use my paintbrush tool for that and I made a symbol out of it and I've already done that you can see my little box around it make a movie clip if you do so our goal now is to take all of these layers and we need to put them inside of this little front facing symbol that you just made. So here's your trick. You're going to click on the top layer of your body parts. Now please notice that my front view and side view stuff is totally out of the way of all this. I'll click on the top layer. I'm going to scroll way down here and I'm going to hold shift and click on the last layer. So my last layer was head, and it grabbed all of those pieces for me. This is going to make your life tons easier instead of doing it one by one. Once you have all these grabbed, again, I'm clicking on the first one, holding shift, clicking on the last layer. It grabs everything in that succession. Then I can right click, and I can cut my layers. Now when you hit cut and all your stuff disappears, don't freak out. It is on your clipboard, so you're okay. Come back into that front view symbol that you just made. Right click up here in your timeline, and now you can paste your layers. And then they all come back. I even got a little front layer here, which has my paint on it from my text. And there's my dude. My dude is back. All my layers are still present. And I am good to go. I can double check that by stepping back out to my main scene. And there's my doll, all packaged up in plastic, ready to go. So now that our character is in a symbol, and if your character is already in a symbol, then this is kind of where you'd come back in at. We need to rig our character one of the two ways that we're going to rig things in the future. 
your front facing stuff is going to be just like a toy and we need to pose it and have it manipulate and kind of interact with the scene. It's not going to do something repetitious like a run cycle like we have in the past. So when we rig, that's the fancy term for it, our person, we're going to rig a full skeleton just like we did with the skeleton and the monkey, not the monkey, excuse me, the skeleton and um, your little stick figure depending upon which class you're in. So let's go ahead and do that. So I need to grab all of my symbols. I know I have all of them because they've all got these little blue boxes around them. And then I'll get my bone tool. Now we're going to change our heart position. We're not going to have our heart position be in the heart area per se like we have that one time before. We're going to have it be in our hips. And that's going to allow us to bend at the waist and not flutter around underneath really awkwardly. So here's my heart position, and I can just decide if I want to go up or if I want to go down. Let's go down. Click, pull, and where I let go of to attach that bone, I want it to be as you know, physically correct as possible. So I don't want to attach and make my hip joint down here in the middle of my thigh. That wouldn't be right. Zoom in, make it a little easier to see here. We go heart position, the top of my hip, top of my hip into my knee. And I can't really see my knee, but I, hey, I can kind of eyeball where that would be for my other drawing. And then knee into my ankle. Now I can come back up here to my hip and I can do the exact, excuse me, my um, heart position in my hip. And I can come back here and do the same thing. If I don't like where that grabbed, I can just try again. Come back, bones. You disappeared on me. There we go. So it looks pretty similar. Again, into my knee, and down into my ankle. Now we're going to go up our body. So I'm going to come up here into my chest. My chest into the base of my head. We don't want that rotation to be up high. We want it to be down low where our neck would be. And into our shoulder. Come here, shoulder. Come join the party. There we go. Shoulder into my elbow. Ooh, too low. Come here a little higher. A little higher again. That's a little better. And elbow into my wrist. And same thing on the other side. If I don't like where I snapped it, just back up and try again. There we go. A little low, I'm gonna try again. In my elbow. Okay, so now my character is fully rigged. And if I check out my timeline up here, all of my other layers are now totally empty. Zoom in on that, make them a little bigger. Foot, hands, legs, hips, all that stuff is empty. We got a, a nice dark gray cell here saying nothing's there. Everything is now compounded into this green armature layer. And those armature layers are totally just like motion tweens. So I don't need these anymore. I'm gonna get rid of them. Bye bye Now all I have left is my little label that says front and my armature layer for my body. So now that your character is fully rigged with your skeleton, now you just need to go back and potentially fine tune how your stuff is overlapping. Now I just have, you know, really simple boring shapes on here with colors. Mine is not going to look nearly as nice as yours, but you know, it's simple to understand and see. You might have to rearrange the order of your pieces because some things might be on top that you wanted to be beneath or vice versa. So to do that, let's say 
I wanted my knees to be behind my thigh. I would get my little move tool and I would click once on that body part that I wanted and it's going to have a little blue box around it. No blue boxes anywhere else, just around that piece. Then I can right click and I can arrange and that's just like shuffling cards. We can bring things to the front or the back. Normally we could control that with our layers but now that everything is smushed into one shape we're going to have to do it this way. So I could send it backwards and it's going to snap it back behind a piece of my body that's already existing there. So I can do that to the other side. Again, click once on the body part. Right click. Arrange. Send it backwards. And I could do the totally the opposite of that if I wanted to. I can bring things forward. So for some reason if I wanted my hips to be up front, arrange, right to front, and it does the opposite. So you can shuffle your stuff around and make sure it looks the way you want it to. Alright guys, so that is the video for how to rig your character. Again, I want to keep it short and just to the point. So be sure and save and move on to the next one.